We've all seen it. Graffiti artists have turned much of Detroit into their own canvas. They've tagged everything from street signs to trash cans to businesses. But now there is an effort to crack down on that illegal art. 7 Action News reporter Ronnie Dahl joins us live from Detroit's West Side. Ronnie, what's their plan? Well, you know, for years, business leaders have been losing the battle to try to keep their storefronts graffiti free. But for Chief Craigs, he says this is more than just about vandalism. This graffiti is sending a message to the world that Detroit is not safe. And soon, that crackdown is coming. We think it's great compared to what used to be on the walls. Steve Rotenberg operates Motown Foods in Detroit's Eastern Market, a popular backdrop for graffiti artists, including his store. Did you ever have to pay out of pocket to try to keep the wall clean? I was asked to pay out of pocket, and it's quite expensive. So the takers took over until a recent artist from Spain offered his talents for free and left this masterpiece behind. There's a respect issue. And all the people in the market and all the graffiti artists in the market, they know that when someone, like a dog, when they spot their territory, no one goes over it. And this is really pretty art. But most graffiti isn't so pretty to look at. Much of it is a rude form of art with a negative image attached. Graffiti is one of those quality of life issues that really gives the impression that the city is unsafe. So if you don't do anything with graffiti, uh, it just brings about other criminal behaviors. Recently, a local businessman found himself in a scuffle with a couple of taggers after he caught them spray painting. They were so proud of their work, they recorded themselves. To Chief Craig, they aren't artists. They are criminals vandalizing the Motor City one building at a time. And now Chief Craig is working with city leaders to form a task force to target the taggers. I'm excited to work uh, with the mayor and his team on this initiative because it's going to really change. Detroit and how Detroit looks. And we would all like to see Detroit look a lot better in the eyes of the world. Now, as for this task force, the chief of police says right now the details of it are still being worked out, but it should be up and running pretty soon. So, taggers, be warned, your time is going to be running out. For now, we are live on Detroit's West Side, Ronnie Dahl, 7 Action News. Thank you.